back again with regular uploads. Uh, had a lot of issues going on, but they are all sorted out now. Anyway, if you want to join me on my coaching platform, there is an offer on right now. Link is in the description right at the top. Click the link, join the dojo. Now let's get into it. So what I want to talk about today is how to stay hyper-focused. What do I mean about hyper-focused? What does it mean to be hyper-focused? Can you be hyper-focused all the time? No, you can't. Hyper-focus is something that you guys should use through life at set times. You know, you need to put time aside for this hyper-focus because when you are in that zone, this is when you grow because majority of the life, what are we doing majority of your life? We're just coasting along, going by, getting getting across, paying the bills, doing the work, enjoying life. That's all we're doing majority of the time. But if you want to level up, those level ups come from short periods of hyper focus. Now, for me, what is that? For me, that means packing up and moving to Thailand. At first, that's what it was. Now I have a life out there, but before that, it was just a place for me to find myself. I know it's going to sound the whole hippie shit, but it's not hippie shit. It was like, okay, this is what I have. This is the job I have. This is a task I have. This is going to take me six months to achieve. If I do it where I am sat right now with the whole, you know, politics, not politics, but you know, the whole idea of having a household, kids, wife, all that kind of stuff, it's going to take me six months to achieve this eventually without me focusing, well, not focusing on it full time. Or, and that's me, that's somebody who's motivated, that's someone who's, you know, on it. I write down exactly what I do, I've got a whiteboard there, I make a list of things I need to do with a list of goals, which is forever, like that's never ending goals that I normally have, and I encourage every single one of you to do exactly the same. So if let's say if I can achieve this said task in six months, I can do that. In two to three weeks, yes, two to three weeks if I move abroad. Now, yeah, you could go anywhere abroad. You could go to Dubai if you can afford it. I like Thailand. It's cheap and cheerful. And your money stretches a long way and it's a good bang for a buck, okay? And there's so much to do there. Like, you can literally go there, knuckle down, get a good apartment, get a nice place, a nice environment, beautiful environment. Surround yourself with positive people or lock yourself in a room if that's what you want to do. I do a little bit of both. So I like when I socialize, I like to do that to the max. And when I'm locking myself in a room, I like to do that to the max. So I'm a very extreme person in that in that regards. But that's also one of the things that has helped me push in my business recently, especially in the past two years when I've I've gone from something completely new. Like I'm always been gym, property, gym. Yes, I've worked other jobs, but they're not really careers. They're not really something that I've gone home and thought about at nighttime thinking, or when I'm working the door, oh, how can I be more effective as a doorman? Or, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a, a little shitty call center job. How can I make sure I close that next sale? I don't give a shit about that, and neither should you. You know, no one really gives a shit about those jobs. Or, oh, I'm waiting a table at my mate's restaurant. I wonder if I can provide more of a service. Doesn't mean dick, guys. So that, those things don't keep you up at night. What I'm talking about is those things that do keep you up at night. That if you did more now, you could progress further later on down the, down the line. That can be anything. So this is not just something that you should do for your own job. Don't think of this as like, I need to get better at my job. No, this is for yourself, unless the job is for you. Now, you guys might have, have seen this title and... Um, I read this very, not recently, but I read it a while ago and I made a note of it and I thought this is a very, very good saying. So I wanted to share this with you guys and explain to you what exactly it means. And the saying goes, the whetstone sharpens the blade. Now, it's very common. It's a very simple thing. You know, what is it? Of course, what is a whetstone? A whetstone is a stone. It's wet. Okay. It's often wet. And the blade is a blade. We have a blade, it's got a crooked edge on it, and if we want to cut something, if we sharpen it the right way, it's going to cut sharper and faster. Bear with me, just bear with me. So the whetstone is a bridge for the blade from past, think about this, to present. As long as the stroke is correct, Okay, and I'm going to break down what everything means in just a moment. See me out. Long, you, can't, you can't get a blunt blade 
and a shit whetstone. You can't get a whetstone that's all bobbly and, and, and crooked and get a blade that's crooked and just, you know, just willy-nilly, I ain't even got a knife here, but <laughs> willy-nilly start sharpening your blade with no actual precision. And you're gonna, it's not gonna get, it's not gonna get sharper. It might even get blunter. The, the, if, you hit, if you hold the blade in the wrong angle, it'll probably blunt even further. So you're actually messing up the blade. Now, let's think about that now in actual modern terminology and what it means in our life. The whetstone is the environment. Okay, so that is the environment where you are. If you're with very negative people, then imagine the whetstone is very crooked. If you're in a place where you're pulled at every single angle, you don't have time for yourself, that's when the whetstone is very knobbly and bobbly and it's all shitty crap and there's all sort of residue in there and loads of muck and whatever else there is on a whetstone that makes it bad. The whetstone is your environment. And you guessed it, guys. The blade is you. And in, we go through life and our blade gets blunt. We, I feel, I do feel that we all start with a very sharp blade. Every single one of us has a pristine razor that we can cut through anything. And the problem is society or the whetstone that we use to go through life blunts us. We're using the rotten whetstone. Often it's the wrong whetstone. And think about those people that are very successful from a young age. They have the right whetstone. Okay, so you've got a right wear stone. And even if your blade is really shitty, you can always sharpen it as long as you get the strokes correct. But often the strokes don't even have to be that good if the wet stone is good. So environment is very, very important, which is why, what do I do? I take myself out of this environment and I travel and I go away. Therefore, I can get more done in a short period of time. And not only does it do that for me, it makes me a better person. Many guys or many people, I'm speaking mainly guys because women don't really need to level up in life. Guys, we do. Many guys out there haven't leveled up in 10, 15, 20 years. And there was a period in my life where I never leveled up. I never felt like I was achieving more, doing more, being more, becoming more. Not acquiring more. There's a big difference. Everyone thinks that oh, well, I bought this car and now I should upgrade to this car and now I can get a Lambo and a Ferrari. No, 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 that's not what it's about. It's about becoming more of a person and becoming a better person for everybody else. Not necessarily yourself because I feel guys who are really living life, they're doing it for other people. That's the way I, I do it myself. Many of you guys out there watching this as well probably feel the same, thinking, do you know what? I'm trying to be better for others around me to make sure that the people that depend on us are having a good time. I can have a shit time, bro. I'll hold the umbrella out, you know, for my kids, my missus. I'll hold the umbrella. I'm in the rain. It's okay. I'm in the cold. It's okay. I'll give the jacket because that's what a guy does. That's how we are made, manufactured, whatever. It's in us. It is in us to do those things. So, but many people are going through life and they're not bettering themselves. They just think that, oh, I'll just get more money. I'll get a better job. But they forget to work on themselves. So sometimes it might not even be business related. Maybe you need a little bit of peace yourself. Maybe you need to say to your missus, maybe you need to say to kids, if you need me to be a better husband, a better boyfriend, a better man, a better whatever, I need to go and take this break for a weekend, for a week, for a month, whatever it takes, everyone has a different time, you know, and there's also a saying, absence, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and it's true, it is 100% true, take it from a guy who goes away a lot from his missus, from his daughter, from everything, you know, there's a lot that I'm always trying to juggle, and when I come back, when I see my daughter smile, it just changes you as a man, Changes you every single time, you know, because time doesn't stand still. You have to evolve with it. So going back to the whetstone, so we know the whetstone is the environment and the blade is you. Now, you could be very, very blunt. You couldn't be shit. You can be going out there trying a hundred different things and nothing is working for you. You just need, you, you, you might even have a good whetstone, but you need the right strokes. And what are the right strokes? The right strokes are watching this video. I'm not saying it's the be and end all the right stroke, but it's a start because I did exactly the same. I watched videos like this that were self-help, you know? This is like, okay, I'm watching something. I'm learning something from Fadi that he learned from other people. I didn't even think about these things. I've thought of all these ideas from different books, from different videos, from different people, and I compiled these and put these 
how my brain manufactures it and thinks it and processes it, it might be simpler for you to understand. Because if somebody told me like me, I would be more better taking this in than if I took it in from a, a Stoic philosophy book or a, you know, Confucius book or even, you know, a religious scripture. I probably wouldn't understand it as much as this. But always this thing that when I, when I heard this thing, I thought I need to share this with you guys. And it's the whetstone and the blade. And remember, as you pass that blade on the whetstone in the right strokes, in the right environment, it's the past and the future and the present. And the sharper that gets, the more you can go out there and kill life. However you see fit. Like I said, it's not about financial gain. It's not about anything else. It's just about you becoming more. So hopefully you took this message home. The whetstone sharpens the blade. Find your environment. Be the right blade and get the right stroke on it. I don't know if you need to add any water to that or not. But maybe there's a metaphor out there for something to do with the water. I don't know. But figure it out yourself, guys. Hopefully this gave you some value. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Because I've got plenty of stories like this to share. Like and please subscribe.